Hey guys, Laura with Garden Answer. Today I am making a kissing ball. Kissing balls are super fun and easy to make decorations for Christmas. So the first thing you're gonna need is a sphere made out of floral foam. I have mine right here. This one is three inches in diameter. I prefer smaller ones. I see a lot of tutorials um, recommend a six inch size, but six inch size spheres end up making a huge kissing ball um, because they do get quite a bit wider than they are now once you get your greens in there. So I prefer the three inch size. So the first thing you do with your sphere is you wanna soak it. Mine is pre-soaked. So to do it, you just put your sphere in a bowl of water for just several minutes until it's fully saturated. Then I like to set it like on a paper towel or a dish towel or something like that on the counter and let it kind of drip dry for a few minutes just so it's not making a wet mess all over your work surface. So once that's prepped, you want to grab a big straw just like this one and you'll poke it right through the sphere, just like that. And then you'll cut off the excess. Well, windy out today. Cut off the excess on either side, just like that. And this is gonna act as a tunnel for our twine. I'm gonna use a little piece of wire. This is just floral wire. You can use whatever. You can use a skewer or anything like a screwdriver, anything that's long, just to poke that extra moss out of the straw. There it is. And you can just throw away this extra foam. So right here, the straw is in there as our guide. And then we've got a piece of twine and you'll just wanna cut this long enough to where it'll hang the distance you want it. So I've got mine about like 18 inches or so once it's doubled up. And I'm gonna put the two cut ends together and guide them through the straw. Like that. So it should look like that. And then I've got a little stick here. This is just a little piece of dogwood. You can use anything um, out of the garden, anything that's nice and strong. And just put it in between the two pieces here and then tie it off. And this will keep the string from going back up through the straw. And then double knot it, just like that. So see that, now I've got a nice loop to hang it from and I'm just gonna trim the ends. Now for this step, you can use twine, you can use ribbon, you can pretty much use anything you want. Uh, the twine is a little bit easier to get through the straw because it's nice and thin. So I'm gonna cut these. Okay, so before I hang this up and get started, I wanna show you how I prep my greens. So I've got a few different kinds sitting here. I've got some polar gold arborvita, which is a really nice soft gold colored foliage. I've got some spring green arborvita, nice deep green soft. I've got some winterberry hollies, which I haven't decided if I'm gonna use these or not yet in this arrangement. They're really pretty though. Um, I've got some pine cones. I've got some juniper, which has got some gorgeous frosty blueberries. And I've also got some blue spruce sitting here for some nice kind of thick filler. Let me show you how to prep the pine cones. It's really easy. I've got some floral wire here. I'm just gonna cut a piece like maybe 12 inches long, about 12 inches. And then you take your pine cone and about halfway down the wire, you just wrap that wire around the bottom of the pine cone, just like that, and then wrap the tails together. So it's really nice to get all of your kind of piles of greens and your pine cones and whatever else you're using all prepped and ready to go. It makes the next part of the project a lot easier. I'm gonna trim the ends here. Perfect, just like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna just hang it from the ceiling and start working on it. And it's super easy, you guys. All you do is you take little pieces of green and stick it into the foam. I'm trying to kind of keep them the same length all the way around so you have a nice sphere when you're done. Uh, and this part, we're gonna probably speed up a little bit because I'm really terrible at talking while I work. And this process does take a little bit of time. done and I did add a red bow to it because I thought it would make it look super festive. Bows are completely optional. You do not have to have to use them on this project. And let me know in the comments if you like it better with or without the bow. But you can totally make it to your taste. You don't have to use red. You can use whatever color you want. Um, I have a really pretty garland on our mantel place back here with red winterberry hollies in it. So I really wanted to play off that bright Christmassy red and I thought it kind of made it look a little bit more finished. And the pine cones, that kind of thing is also optional and you really 
can use any type of evergreen you want. I mean, you can just use all of one type and it's still a really pretty decoration. The history of kissing balls is really interesting. They originated during the Middle Ages in England and they were referred to as holy boughs and they were interlocking pieces of evergreen that would cradle a figurine of baby Jesus or part of the Holy Family, and they would hang them in doorways and they were a symbol of goodwill or welcome to visitors. And then they went through a period of unpopularity due to the Puritans, but the Victorians brought them back. And when they did, they kind of morphed into something new and they much uh, more resembled what we know a kissing ball to be today, except for as a center, they would use a piece of apple or potato and that's what they would stick their evergreens into, which kind of makes sense because apples and potatoes both have moisture in them. So I bet you that those kept the evergreens a lot more fresh for a lot longer. So not only would they use evergreens in their kissing balls, they would also use plants and herbs that symbolize something that meant something to them. So they would use like lavender and rosemary, which symbolized uh, devotion and loyalty. They'd also use mistletoe, which we all know today is kind of the plant that you kiss underneath. And that's what this kissing ball kind of morphed into. Um, so, you know, single ladies would stand under there waiting for suitors. Dancers would dance underneath them so that they could steal a quick kiss. And now today we hang them just like we would hang a bunch of mistletoe. And I don't know about you, but mistletoe does not grow where I live. It's really hard to get it. So we make do with kissing balls that look like this and it's really quite fun because you can make it look however you want to. Super easy, it doesn't take a ton of uh, different supplies to do it and it's a fairly quick project. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. I hope you try it out this year and if you do, send me a picture. We'll see you in the next video, bye.